Hey y'all, it's Mike with True American Craftsman, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I batch out these bottle openers. So for this one order, I needed 26 bottle cap openers. So I got four 1x6x8 boards, and each individual bottle cap opener was cut to 13 and a quarter inches long. I make my first cut, and then I use that board as a template for the rest of the boards. This helps make sure that all of my boards are the same length because it's going to be crucial in the upcoming steps. I should mention that out of one 8 foot board, you can get 7 bottle cap openers. While the boards are still whole, I start sanding from 120 grit to 220 grit. The process might seem long, but as long as you have the right tunes in, it flies by. Once all the sanding is done, I set my table saw to an inch and 5 eighths. I then rip each board into three sections at an inch and 5 eighth inch. So in the video, I'm showing you how to find the measurement for the union that's going to be on the bottle cap opener. Um, it's four and a half inches from the top, and I'm only using a single piece, but you could batch them together um, and go as long as your square will reach uh, to make it a little bit quicker. So because these are the thin blue line bottle cap openers, I just hit the tops of the middle section with Rust-Oleum's satin black, um, and then I go on to do the sides, each uh, Rust-Oleum satin black. So this step isn't necessary, but I do like to do it only because I don't want any blue stain coming onto the black. I know you might not be able to see it, uh, I just want to make it sure that it's a nice clean cut. So I've tried a bunch of different stains and paints, but I like the Minwax Navy Blue uh, for the Thin Blue Line series. I think the uh, deepness of the blue is perfect. If you guys have better options, go and leave a comment and let me know so I can try it out. So now it's time for glue up, and I'm using the same flag jig that I've used in previous videos. I did make a video of how to make the flag jig, it's, uh, it's on my channel, go ahead and check it out. And using the same method that you would uh, when you're gluing up a flag, I used tight bond 2 wood glue and put it on the edges of the stripes. And a little note here, uh, you can notice I put the glue on the bottom half of the stripe. Uh, that'll help it from preventing the squeeze out from coming up and onto the finished wood. The nice thing about the flag jig is that I can do four bottle cap openers at a time, and I have two flag jigs. So essentially I could do eight bottle cap openers at a time. This really helps speed up the batching process. So as you can see here, I'm using the Pony Jorgensen clamps for the glue up. Um, I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever, but I do use their clamps exclusively now because of how well, uh, how well they work. So once all the bottle cap openers are glued up, it's time to get the stars on. 
Now the CNC really makes everything go so much quicker and not only that, the stars come out perfect. However, if you don't have a CNC, you can always do them by hand with a Dremel. Uh, I used to do it all the time, however the CNC just speeds up the batching process. So after I put the new bottle cap opener in its section, I tighten it down and then using a 60 degree V bit on the CNC, I hit play and it does its thing. It's approximately two minutes between bottle cap openers from start to finish, so you can see why I really like using this. So I only had bronze bottle cap openers, and for the Thin Blue Line series, I like to have the black openers, so I just took some black satin spray paint and hit them all quick. So these bottle cap openers are all custom order and each one is gonna have a last name on the bottom of it. So I'll set my bottle cap opener back into the slot on the CNC table and roughly about an inch to an inch and a half up is where I'll engrave. So one of the things that I learned about the bottle cap openers that is that to me the longest part of the process was getting the keyholes in. Um, I like to do the uh, keyhole bit with a palm router. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, I'll attach it in the in the description below, but I use a quarter inch keyhole bit and uh, I put two keyholes, one on top, one on bottom. And I like those because it keeps the bottle cap opener uh, flush against the wall or whatever you put it on. Um, you could, I guess, do like those little like alligator teeth or whatever you want to call it, but I like the keyholes. Um, but I realized that it took way too long um, measuring out every single line on the board and then coming with a router and keeping a steady hand to get each line perfect at, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, whatever it is. So I made this um, quick jig that'll help uh, put the keyholes in if that's what, you know, you're looking to do. It's labeled top for where the stars are going to be placed and then bottom where the, uh, I guess, the bottom of the bottle cap opener is. And all you do is set the back end right in, it slides right in there. <clears throat> right now, now that it's set, all we have to do, which you'll see here in a second, is take our router, Put it in the in the uh, labeled box, glide it up, and uh, you know the wood on the sides and wood on the top and, and the bottom there. Keep the router in place and give you a perfect keyhole every time. So for the finish, I like to use Minwax's water-based polycrylic. I think it just leaves a nice crystal clear uh, satin finish. And I just laid them all out and just ran over it with the sprayer and they all came out perfect. So I did forget to video uh, the part where I sand the back of them. I just use 120 grit after I do the keyholes just to get all the glue off the back and make it a nice clean flat surface. Once the finish is all dried, I go and take my stamp, mark the back of it with my logo and then get ready to put the hardware on. So I just line up the bottle cap opener directly underneath the middle star and make sure that it's right around the line where the union meets the stripes. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, it's just a little insight into how I 
batch out large uh, orders of bottle cap openers. Um, and if you did like this video, go and hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more like it in the future, hit subscribe. I got to get these things out the door.